steal this strategy. The power of letters of recommendation. Your teachers, your counselors, coaches, peers, anybody really who has left an impression on you or you have had a strong relationship with is somebody that you can get to write a letter of recommendation. And these recommendations are gonna go far for you with your applications. I mean, if you think about it, the letters of recommendation that you receive are the only guaranteed piece of the application where you're gonna be receiving an endorsement from somebody outside of you. It's the material that they're going to be receiving from somebody else other than you. So if they can corroborate the things that you're saying on your application, and they can really attest to what strong character uh, and what strong of a person and an applicant you are, there's no doubt that that's going to go so far to helping you with building your applications. So let's get to it. Let me tell you a positive example of success with letters of recommendation, and then I'll get on to one that didn't work so well. A student of mine who got into Yale a couple of years ago, so you know, brilliant student, fantastic, fantastic guy, wonderful character. Uh, he wants to be a politician and his counselor let him know that in his counselor recommendation, he said that he was looking forward to this student returning to New Zealand someday to become prime minister. Now, what a high endorsement that is. You know, that is something that they will rarely see written in a letter of recommendation, that effusive praise. You know, there's no doubt that that letter of recommendation was coming from somebody who had developed clear trust, clearly endorsed this student, clearly believed in this student, and felt that this student was going to go far. So was trying to communicate to Yale that they should really sit up and notice. Now that was one part of the entire application, but there's no doubt that an admissions officer who read that application first read, brought out the red pen, highlighted that particular sentence and brought that to committee and said, hey team, look at what their counselor is saying about him. He's clearly somebody that we should stand up and take notice of. Now, a not so successful example, I had a student who applied I think two or three years ago, and she wanted to apply to the top 10, top 20 colleges. And she had an internship as part of her journey at a fantastic top name brand. And she felt that she wanted to get a letter of recommendation written by her internship supervisor. Now, when we spoke about her connection, her relationship with this supervisor, it was clear that it wasn't a very strong connection. You know, she had a fantastic time during this internship, you know, really learned a lot. But in terms of making an impression or leaving an impact, at this very big name brand as a young 16 year old, it was kind of inevitable that there wasn't gonna to be too much impact to speak of. This was more of a learning experience for her to learn a little bit more about whether she liked that industry. Of course, she was you know, well within her reason to reach out to this supervisor to ask for a letter. But really, what was the extent of endorsement that she was going to be receiving from this person? It wasn't going to be that much. And so as a result, a letter was submitted and we can't know what was written on it, but we can probably assume that that letter wasn't really giving too much. And here's the thing, if you're applying to those top universities, Having a neutral letter is probably not going to stand in your favor as well. It might even negatively impact your application because all of the students that are getting into these top colleges are receiving endorsements left, right, and center. And likely every letter that they submit is going to be an endorsement. So what's the takeaway here? Well, the power of recommendations cannot be underestimated. You need to have letters that are written by people that you can count on, who really understand you, who really value what you have offered to them, whether at school or whether outside of school, and you know are gonna be effusive in their praise of you as a candidate. So if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. This is just a small snippet of the information and the advice that we as strategists give to our students every single day. If you want more information, please click on the link below, and we look forward to seeing you next time. See you later.